Good morning. Good morning, good morning. I'm Taylor, and I'm going to do a quick, a very quick contour for y'all because I decided to sleep in really late because I got really bad sleep. Um, but so I do my contour and highlighting with foundation and um and bronzer only and then i add a couple little tricks to enhance it so that's what i'm going to show you all to do so i put on a thick thick layer of concealer under my eyes before i start anything love this little concealer brush as you put it on as thick or thin as you want I feel like your movements can just never go wrong with it and then I also do the real like the top of my nose because makeup does not like my nose it's just a fact it does not like my nose okay y'all I never do my makeup on the back of my toilet seat, but that's where I'm at right now. It's just, I was like, okay, it's gonna be easiest and the fastest because for me to set it up on my bed or at my vanity is just not gonna work for me this morning. Okay, so I'm using my foundation brush to kind of smooth that out. I don't smooth out my nose. That needs to stay as thick as possible, I'm telling you. It, just for me, I don't know about your skin, but I got some issues. Okay. Also have issues right above my eyebrows. Of it just staying on. Like, I don't understand. I don't. So, I'm actually going in with my foundation right now. Okay. So, this is the lighter of my two foundations. This is the one I'm using right now. And the places I'm going with it is the places that I want lighter on my face. No, everyone highlights and contours different. A lot of people don't use a concealer and a foundation to highlight. A lot of people don't use, even fewer people use two foundations to highlight. I just do things different. A lot of people do one foundation, put concealer under their eyes or over their blemishes and then go to town with their bronzer. Okay, so I'm also gonna make the upside down triangle teardrop shape with the lighter foundation. Bring it down on my nose. Cupid's bow. I just do it right there for redness. I'm going to look crazy for a second, as you can tell. My chin. Now, guys, the whole point, now I'm going to start filling in the rest of my face with the dark. The whole point of contouring and highlighting is to enhance your face shape, okay? is not to change it. Not to make you look like a completely different person. Is to enhance what you already have, okay? So you're gonna have to follow your bone structure, figure out what kind of face shape you have. Pinterest is amazing, and it'll tell you exactly where you need to put your dark and your light colors. Okay, for me, I really don't have a huge forehead, but I like for it to look small. I'm gonna, all kind of messages coming through. Y'all should be doing your morning routines right now. Well, that probably is some people's morning routines. It's like their work. Pretty sure it's C. 
sales or, you know, all kind of stuff. This is my new morning routine. Shortly, I'm going to start just doing a live stream in the mornings for you guys. But I want... I need to get a few videos knocked out for my vlog and I want to go over the basics for you guys. So what I have now is like a look with a color on the lids. Okay, I'm going to go and blend this all in with my beauty blender, aka Blenderful. Okay. Um... Yeah, so I also have a natural eye color look that allows you basically to create a contour and a highlight on your eyelids without using super dark colors so that, you know, you're not wearing anything too harsh to go to work or wherever. If you're just having like a simple day, that'll be perfect for you. And then if you want to add a pop of color later on or something dark or anything like that. It's real easy to build on top of. Okay, let's come back with the light. And then we'll have this one. I'll probably do a brow one. I'm gonna try to get some hair in there this weekend. Have fun with that. So I love doing my hair too. I just like stop doing it for work. Like it's just, I don't want to wake up that early and I'm just going to sit at an office. You know, I'd rather like save it for the weekend when I'm actually going somewhere and doing something. Okay. Plus I get to sleep in a little bit later, but I, I need to quit that. I need to work on that for sure. Okay. Now I'm going to set my foundation because it's a wax based foundation just with my translucent powder before I, um, start putting any powders on top of it. It kind of works better that way. Put some of this on my eyes. I'm gonna put some primer on the nose and then another coat of this. And then a light thing of eyeshadow to finish the look. Okay. Sorry, that was more for my mental statement of what I need to do after. Not for y'all. Okay, so I'm putting my bronzer. This one. I have this one too, but it's more shiny. So I'm using the matte today. Um, put it on my neck because I want this to be darker, like a shadow. Like I don't, I want, I want there to be pretty much a pretty harsh line so that my neck and my chin don't intermix. They don't get to make babies. It's just the rule. Okay. Okay, so notice, you see my cheekbone? That's where, and y'all, my bronzer I'm using, like this is really, it's a, it's a primer for my bronzer, what I'm gonna do. It is to let me know, is to give me a base coat before I start really getting in the details. Notice how I'm just kind of sloppily brushing it on. Nothing is precise right now. We're going to go back and make it precise a little bit in a second. Hmm. A little bit later. A little bit later, I got to get off this thing and get to work. Uh... Okay, all right. A little bit under the lip. Do it like this. See those lines? Don't go crazy and do it up here and give yourself a mustache. I tried it out one time and I'm like, oh no. <laughs> that was crazy. I had a crazy moment for sure. All right. So I have an eyeshadow. That I go in with precision. Okay. This little brown one. Taupey one. It's called taupe for the best. 
might be too dark for some of you, might not be dark enough, but for me, it's perfect. I've yet to find a bron bronzer that has been its shade. And you don't have to use powders for your contour either, okay? You can get a really dark concealer or a really dark foundation. So you can use all creams. Oh yeah, I wanted to say what I meant about, about my foundation being wax-based, it feels kind of like a cream. It, it, it's the same consistency as, my, as a concealer would be, it is. Which some concealers nowadays, now that I think about it, they are a little bit runny. Sorry, I think my dog moved the door. Um, they're more like a eye primer consistency. That no, that's not what it is. It's your regular, everyday concealer that's in a palette consistency. Okay. So notice how I'm defining right by the hairline where I want that versus when I just roughly put it in, I put it a little bit lower. This is going to harsh line that for me. <laughs> okay. Get some in there. Blend it out. You know, when you go right under the lip with the dark and right on top of the lip with the light, your lips stand out. I'm gonna show y'all with, we're gonna go back with some more light. Ooh, that's a surprise. Okay, where's my crap? Uh, uh, uh. Need my precision brush. It's really just a blender brush, like for your eyeballs, but it works very well for your nose. Look at that. Hold on, my nose is running. And if I do the tip of my nose, I'm gonna get my brush all snotty. We don't need that. Okay. Blend that out, more mercy. Notice how it went a little up here. I probably could have gone a little bit darker up there, but I ain't have time to go back, so. Sorry, I'm being a little bit more sloppier than normal. Okay. Now, here's the tricky part. Number one, you're probably going to get these even. Don't worry about it. I think, like, everything on one part of our body is bigger than the other part. Anyway, it's all different. Like, one of my eyes is bigger than the other. I'm serious. It. Same thing with, like, my foot and stuff as well. So, just follow the bone. And if, if your bones aren't even, it's your face. You can hide it with your hair. Don't worry about it. Seriously, follow the bone. It's that simple. Make a face, whatever you got to do to make it stin stick out. And you follow it. See? That shit ain't even, but that's what my bones are. But I'm not gonna change my face. I'm gonna come back and blend that some more, but y'all, I love this little brush. It's by e.l.f. It's like six dollars. Elf is a vegan company, just like the makeup I use, Lime Life. It's all vegan. I've used their eye primer. It's good, but you gotta set it. And their brushes. I have one, two, three, four. At least four of their brushes. 
And they're all like my big ones. And I want to say like a set of their brushes is, and I say only like 125, but that's a good deal. And you can get a lot of brushes. This is another one of their brushes. Now y'all, I need to clean my brushes. So I'm not getting the exact results that I would normally getting if they were clean. Or should I say like two days dirty? Because that's really when you get the best results on your makeup. It almost makes me not want to clean them all the way. When they're too dirty, your makeup sucks. When they too clean, your makeup sucks. There's like a five day time span where it's awesome. You should clean your brushes every week. I think it's been a month for me. I'm not, I'm not joking. If you're having a lot of breakouts or some skin issues, you're not getting a real good um, makeup application, your brushes are dirty. I think I might do that this week. Too. I'm like, I got a huge list for the weekend and I ain't going to do any of it, <laughs> but I'm going to do it. Okay. Highlighters. These are real fun. I want you to get you a creamy set of highlighters and I want you to get you a powder set of highlighters. Some palettes like this Ulta Beauty one comes with both. But I got these creamy ones before I discovered there were powder ones. So, and then I was like testing all the powders in the Ulta store and I was like, you know what? I really like this one. Cares if they got cream or not. I can use the cream on or run out of these, I guess. Okay, so what I did with the cream, use that as a primer, just like I used the bronzer before I used my shadow. Use that as a base coat. Okay, just think of like just as you're going to prime your face before you start your foundation, which I did do, by the way. I, I just have a spray and I sprayed it on before because it needs to dry before I immediately start putting makeup on my face. So I know y'all can't really see that too good. Y'all can probably see my nose. It, it stands out a lot more in person. It really is a good highlighter. All right, so these... See these three are cream, these three are powder. I'm gonna use the real light one in the middle. Go up with that. Doop, doop. Done. You can go crazy if you want. If it's a holiday, come up here, put some here, put some on your chin, make yourself glow. Whatever you wanna do, I'm just going to work. Y'all see that? So easy. So easy. I still look like the same person, but my features are enhanced. That's what you want. Ooh, I did not realize I've been on here for almost 20 minutes, y'all. I, I gotta finish this thing. Go. I'm literally, I'm just gonna do a quick swipe on my eyebrows. Put a little bit more mascara on. Do my lips, possibly in the car. Put a maybe not even eyeshadow on. I don't know, but that's what I'm gonna be doing. So y'all have a good day. Uh, sorry to end it. Still doing my makeup, but I ain't got no time to spare. And like I said, I'll be doing brows for y'all soon, which that, that'll be a pretty short video. And um, get to some hair stuff as well. And then hopefully I'll be starting a live morning feed every weekday morning, Monday through Friday. 
and just me getting ready. Whether it's makeup, whether it's hair, you'll get to see my face. You get to know me a little better. Y'all have a great Tuesday. Go eat some tacos because it is Taco Tuesday. It's my favorite day. Probably going to make some Asian tacos tonight. Asian inspired tacos. Get that right. All right, for real. Bye.